Hi, my name is Matt I'm with Top Left, and I'm going to explain a little bit about our latest new feature, the project boards. This is something that's really exciting. We've been waiting to do this for a long time. It's been, uh, by a, a large margin, the uh, the most requested feature for Top Left Kanban boards for ConnectWise and Autotask. So we're really excited to uh, to be able to offer this now. So uh, it's going to be a quick video. I'm just going to share a few things. Uh, one is just a quick overview of some of the use cases of the project boards. Uh, how simply how to actually create them, uh, what to do with them, and uh, a little bit on how they're uh, how they're licensed, how that differs a little bit from the ticket boards, and uh, talk about um, what new API permissions we need in order to be uh, to be able to connect to your data. Uh, so let me share the screen and we'll get right into it. So uh, this is a project board in top left Kanban. So if you're used to looking at it from the perspective of tickets, you'll recognize it, but know that these are not tickets. Uh, the, each of these cards represents a project, either in ConnectWise or in Autotask. And uh, so for MSPs who have, uh, you know, 15, 20 projects or a lot more, you know, we talked to MSPs who have 50 or 80 or 100 projects or more, all open at the same time. Um, this is really necessary for you to be able to keep track of of your projects and understand what's going on. And there's, uh, you know, this is the kind of the simple view. Uh, the, you know, the overall idea is exactly the same as as what you're familiar with from the ticket boards where we have the columns, you know, left to right kind of represents the progression of the project through your workflow. And each card represents the, uh, represents a project. You map the columns to the uh, the different project statuses that you have in your PSA software. So it's, it's really pretty simple. Um, I'll show you a couple of the ways that you can can specialize this uh, and different special things you can do with it. Um, but just, you know, some of the, as an overview, some of the things that you can do with it are in a very basic board like this, just get a quick overview of uh, what is in what status and whatnot. Uh, you can change it a bit so that you can track just your specialized workflows. Uh, for example, let's say that uh, you know you do a lot of Azure migrations. Uh, just as an example, uh, maybe any, anything that comes from a project template um, that would be uh, you know, a project that you do over and over, and you have a very specialized workflow for that. So you can actually set out a project, uh, a Kanban board that doesn't have just kind of the generic, you know, new in progress. Uh, monitoring whatever statuses you might have, but it actually has a um, the specific workflow for that type of project. You know, if you have um, you know, uh, the five key stages of your Azure migration project uh, in a way that it differs from just your other sorts of projects, well, you can have a Kanban board that has those five columns. And so you can see at a glance exactly where that type of, uh, all of your projects of that type, where they are and which ones are getting delayed. Not so very useful for the specialized case. Uh, very useful for identifying um, exceptions. Uh, for example, very similar to what you can do with the tickets already. You can do um, uh, highlight tickets that have been uh, highlight projects that have been in their status for too long. Like this one's been in progress for a month. That is um, unusually long, so we highlight it here. Uh, we have one that's over budget, so we want to know about that. Uh, this one is showing us as an example, um, the end date is uh, in the past. So uh, so we highlight that. <clears throat> and a couple here that are warnings, you know, they're orange and not red. So it's not an error yet, but we want to be advised of this. Like, And this is a threshold that you can configure to, to whatever you need. But basically, um, this means that the, uh, the start date is approaching. Um, it's within the next, I think I configured it for a week. So it's highlighting that so we know, hey, Here's, here's a project that says, uh, we told the customer we're gonna be starting it soon, so let's make sure that we're able to do that. Um, you can do other things like set up swim lanes. I'll show you a couple in just a second, uh, but you can use that to see if you know one of your project managers has doubled the normal amount of work, um, because that could create a bottleneck for you um, when one project manager has way more work than the others. And maybe you can even that out so that your work all gets done faster, you'd eliminate that bottleneck. And uh, other swim lanes that help you see what you've committed to as far as you know, like certain start dates. I'll show you that in just a second. So real quick, uh, how you create a board is just uh, under here on click uh, boards, then click add project board. And that will take you to form that, you know, if you've done anything again with ticket boards and this will be familiar for you. Some of the options will be different, obviously. 
Um, but you can go through these. I won't even mention the, the details because you can read that yourself, but you know, normal stuff. We have name, some options about what appears on the cards. We have uh, the swim lane fields here. Uh, this is the, this particular screen captures from the, uh, our ConnectWise instance. So if you're running Autotask, it's gonna look a little bit different, but uh, we have almost everything is, is equivalent. So it'll be easier for you to see what's going on even if you're on Autotask. Uh, project filters, uh, you know, you can s say, just show me the projects that are on certain ConnectWise project boards. They have certain project managers, uh, belong to certain companies, uh, accounts if you're ConnectWise, and project types. So this, that, that's one, uh, either the, if you're thinking of specialized projects like the Azure migration or whatever, then, uh, you know, if you keep those on their own ConnectWise board, obviously you would use this filter to, sele to select those. Um, if you keep them on the same project board as your uh, generic sort of projects, then you might uh, set them up with a certain project uh, filter here with a certain project type. Uh, and then same thing with the columns. I say exactly the same as you configure the ticket boards. You just uh, make a column, give it a name, and drag the project statuses into the column. That's all you need to do. There's a few fields here that you can use to um, configure those warnings that I had shown you. Um, but th this is the basics, that's all you need to do. So uh, let me mention a couple of the um, new things that you can do and uh, swim lanes that, that you can configure. Uh, this is something that has no equivalent in the project ticket, uh, in the ticket boards, uh, in that you can zoom in to, uh, to see the project tickets for each project or tasks if you're auto task. So this little icon here, and uh, now this, um, this is gonna be so useful. Uh, if you want to see the, um, the actual tickets or tasks that make up this project, um, you just, uh, on the form I had showed you, you, so you um, what you do need in advance is a Kanban board that's set up to show project tickets um, or the tasks. And uh, then you just associate the board that shows the projects with this Kanban board here. And then you see this icon, you just click it and uh, you bring up that board that you've made that shows the project tickets. And it's already been filtered to show just that project's tickets or tasks. And so that's what appears here. Um, you can just click filters there and you'll see that we've already selected that project that I clicked. And, um, so you don't have to worry about doing that, but um, yeah, it's super useful. So you can just very quickly zoom in and uh, this can be a board uh, like the one I've made here that has uh, the member swim lanes uh, or it can be any other sort of board. Uh, it could be uh, um, with no swim lanes or, or, or whatever. So that's, that's totally up to you. Uh, let me show you a couple of uh, swim lanes or at least this type of swim lane. So this one is, uh, a swim lane that's very useful. It's showing you the estimated start date uh, by week uh, because for projects showing them by day is probably a little bit too much detail. Um, although if you have a use case for that, we'd love to know because we could add that. Uh, but we think for now, at least initially, this is gonna be super useful. So each swim lane is a week of a project wh where one of your projects start, has an estimated start date in that week. So here's an example of one that's, uh, you know, right now it's in the, it's in the past already, but that's okay. Cause um, this project is kind of in the monitoring phase, meaning essentially we've completed it, but we're just kind of watching things and uh, making sure that the customer's happy with that. Now that it's done. So that uh, shows us that, you know, this is okay. Uh, the estimated start date was in the past, but it's no problem. This is already done. If we saw it over here in new or in progress, then, you know, that might be a problem. Uh, yeah. Um, other ones that are in progress, uh, you know, that were started this time. Uh, you know, we see here the highlight. This is orange. It says that the estimated end date is August 4, and that's within uh, a week that we've configured. So we see that this is has some orange highlighting here. Um, and then over here, we see that um, this project, as an example, has an estimated start date of July 31st. Uh, so it's showing in this swim lane, and that is within the next couple of days here. So it's showing us that in and then other ones that start even further out in the future. So the way that you can use this is to see that um, you just don't have too many projects that are starting 
in any particular week. Um, like especially right now, it's in the summer and you probably have staff that are away on vacations. And uh, so you're, you're probably starting even less work than you normally would. And so you wanna make sure you, know, you probably don't want five projects starting in one week, uh, you know, unless you're a really big organization. Um, if you did see that, that would be a problem and maybe you need to go and make some adjustments uh, because that's just unrealistic. Uh, but maybe as you get into you know, September or October and uh, you, you know, your staff is back and you know that things are ramping up again, then, uh, then you know that you know, in that case, maybe starting five projects in one week is okay. Um, but it, it gives you that visibility that you don't have just in ConnectWise or Autotask. Uh, we also have swim lanes for project managers and that works pretty much in the same way as you would uh, see in the ticket boards where we have the swim lanes by the ticket resources. And that just gives you some visibility into your, uh, that's the swim lane that gives you visibility into if your projects, uh, your project managers, well, maybe one of them is a lot more, has a lot more responsibility than some of the others. And uh, if that's a problem or not, it gives you that visibility that again, you don't have in ConnectWise or Autotask uh, unless you have Kanban boards like this. Uh, so let me just explain real quick about how these are licensed. Um, so as you probably know, on the project ticket boards, the the licensing is based on who's assigned to the ticket. So, uh, you know, if you have a a project ticket that's assigned to you know Peter Thompson, uh, then you need to select Peter Thompson as one of your licensed members, and then you'll see Peter's tickets uh, on those project ticket boards or project task boards. Um, it's uh, similar in that um, we look at the project manager field of the project or an auto task the lead resource. Uh, we look at who's assigned there and in order to show those projects on the boards uh, that lead resource or that manager needs to be selected as a licensed manager. So uh, if you previously didn't need to have your project managers licensed because they didn't uh, they didn't um, get any tickets assigned to them well if they're the project manager here then that is something that you'll need to update. Um, you just go up here uh, admin licensing, uh, follow these instructions here to um, upgrade your license if you need to do that. And uh, we think that that'll be a worthwhile thing to do. This is really valuable. And it uh, gives you a lot more visibility into your projects in ConnectWise and Autotask that you didn't have before. The, uh, there's only one small change that we need for, uh, for this to work uh, as far as changing the, uh, the project statuses. Uh, like for example, if I drag and drop from one column to another. It works as it always is, uh, did with uh, you know, project tickets. We change the status on those tickets when you drag and drop. Um, now that we're sending updates, and we're actually changing your projects for you, now there is one change that we need uh, only on the ConnectWise side. Um, if you're Autotask, we don't need any changes to the, uh, the security rules that you've set up. But on ConnectWise, we need this new permission for the security role for our API member. We need the project headers, to set the edit level to all because now we're changing your project what ConnectWise calls headers. So that's the only extra thing that we need. Um, you can create boards like this without making that change. So you know if if you're in the situation where you can't change that yourself, you got to get someone else to change that. Don't worry, you can still go and make this board. The only thing that you can do is uh, you, if you drag it from one column to another, you'll get an error until that uh, change is made. So um, don't feel like you need to wait on, on getting the good visibility. You just need to, uh, to make that change before you can actually use it to drag, drag and drop. Uh, and that's it. Uh, we do have a webinar coming up um, in the first week of August. We'll get the announcements out for that. And uh, in the webinar, we're going to announce some of the new things, uh, additional things that we're working on for, uh, for project managers. So um, there will be some new things we're announcing there. We're excited to do that. Thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions. Uh, help at topleft.team is the email that you send those to. Thank you.